All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash, the bonds of the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. <clears throat> this is Aratazah, uh, once again from the Great Millstone GMS Atlanta camp, with another um, uh, video. All right. And uh, in this video, I just want to hit a couple of scriptures real quick. Uh, you know, basically going into how, you know, because you got this guy, uh, Elder Raka or the GOCC, you know, which like brothers say, you know, he's pretty much like the flavor of the week, you know, uh, Elder Raka, the GOCC, you know, uh, basically teaching that, you know, the Edomites uh, can be saved, <clears throat> you know, which is totally bugged out. It's totally bugged out and it's totally wrong all right when you go into the scriptures all right salvation is only uh for the israelites all right which, which consists of you so-called negroes latinos native americans which is really <clears throat> a basic topic but you know that's still one of the you know most debated topics when it comes to you know these christians and certain israelite groups like like the gocc which the gocc <clears throat> that's really a christian church man you know, <laughs> that's a that's a uh, uh, that's a Christian church with a with a with a with a dash of Israelite on it, man. You know, just a little little sprinkle of Israel. You know, they have a they have a you know a Christian based doctrine. All nations can be saved, but then they wear garments. But they, they barely wear the garments. But then they have like a turban on. It's, it's really just a Christian church, man. You know, and brothers been going into the, you know, going to the scriptures and, been, you know, uh, you know, doing the videos and whatnot. And I just want to, you know, jump in the ring with a couple of scriptures. I didn't really have anything, uh, anything planned, but, uh, hell, we can start here. My finger kind of went to Luke, Luke 1 and, um, Luke 1 and 60, I think it's 68. <clears throat> All right, this is Luke 1 and 68. It says, uh, Blessed be the Lord power of Israel, for he have visited and redeemed his people. Now, who's the, who's the Most High's people? And which, by the way, the Most High's name is not Ahiah, man. Okay, the Most High's name is Yahweh, which is what, you know, we've been taught. And that's the correct name of the Heavenly Father. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. All right, so the Heavenly Father's name is not Ahiah. And the son's name is not, uh, I believe they, uh, GOCC, I think they say the, the uh, they say the Messiah's name is Yeshia or something like that, which is totally wrong. All right. So it says, it says, blessed be the Lord power of Israel for he have visited <clears throat> and redeemed his people. Now who's, who's the most highest people? The Israelites, man. Which again, consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Those are the only people who uh, the Heavenly Father is dealing with, man. Starting with the elect, all right? And it says, uh, verse 69, it says, and have raised up in horn of salvation for us, right? Because who's speaking here? This is uh, the father of John the Baptist, Zacharias. He was a Levite. He was an Israelite. So when he's saying raise up a horn of salvation for us, he's speaking about all the Israelites, <clears throat> all right, all the other Israelites, of course, start with the elect because not all Israel is going to be saved on the, on the first go around. All right, so it says they have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. It says, and he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. All right, <clears throat> and the prophets are back back on earth today. You know, through, through something called reincarnation, which that's a topic for another day. But the prophets always uh, come back in a lot, man. All right. So it says, uh, verse seventy-one. It says that that we, <clears throat> who's the we? All right. Is it everybody? Is it is it is it uh, is it all nations? Is it Esau? All right. Which Esau is the biblical name for the so-called white man? All right, is it the Moabites? Is it the Hamites? All right, no, man. <laughs> the Israelites, 
that we should be saved from our enemies. Now, who's the enemies of the Israelites? All right, when you read, uh, what's that, Psalms, the 80, what's that, Psalms 83 or Psalms 82 or something like that, where it actually breaks down and lists the enemies of our people, man. And, 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 and low, low and fucking behold, <laughs> who's, the, who's the number one on the list? Eat them. Matter of fact, let, let me jump there real quick, man. And I'll, and I'll go back to Luke. Number one on the list is Esau, man. Psalms 80, I think it's Psalms 83. All right, let's get that real quick. Uh, right, Psalms 83 and... um. I'm going to start at uh, 2, and I'm going to read kind of fast for the sake of time. It says, For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee <clears throat> have lifted up the head. I mean, it's speaking of these other nations, and they got a sense of pride, and they basically, you know, poke their chests out against Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Verse 3, it says, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. All right? It says, It consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's what it's all about with these with these with these damn nations. Start with Esau, Edom and their uh, uh, their their top tier elites, man. All right. The, the, the uh, name of the game is to take out the Israelites, you know, to, to block to block the name of Israel, Yasha Allah and all that. <clears throat> block that out of existence and do away with us, man. You know, it says, verse uh, five, it says, for they have consulted together with one consent. So they all come together, right? They in agreement when it comes to coming against our people. It says, they are confederate against thee. And it says what? Verse six, where it begins to actually name these enemies of, of, of Israel, man. Verse six, it says, the tabernacles of Edom see that then it says in the Ishmaelites all right which is uh, uh um which is the uh so-called Arabs it says of Moab all right uh which is the so-called uh uh Chinese and it says in the uh Hagarines which I'm not mistaken I think the Hagarines I think that's a uh Hamite nation if I'm not if I'm not mistaken um Hag rights. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's Ham. All right? So all these nations, man, from Ham to Moab, all right, to the so-called Arabs, all right? And what? <laughs> Number one is Esau, Edom. So they're the enemies of our people, man. And then we go back to Luke. It says that we're going to be saved from out of their hand. Because we're currently what? We're currently in Esau's hand, man. And the Lord's going to come and save us out of his hand. He's, all right? He's, he's, you know, the Lord's not going to save a portion of uh, the Israelites, the elect, and then group up, <laughs> gather up a, 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 a cluster of um, Edomites to bring them along for the ride, man. No. No Edomites will be on the chariots, man. All right? No Edomites will be on the ships. Okay? Only the elect of Israel. So, going back to Luke 1, it says... Uh, Verse Luke 1 and uh, 71, it says that we, it says that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. See that? Which is, a, it's, a, it's, it's clear as day that, 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 this, that this man hates us, you know, the uh, so-called white man. He's our, he's our natural born enemy, man. He's our arch nemesis. He's our rival, you know, it says <laughs> 72. To, uh, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. All right, and that covenant never changed, man. So the Lord's about to get busy on these goddamn nations. And the Lord's going to use Israel to do it too. 
All right. Um, let's go to that. That's Ezekiel 25. And I'm just going on top of the head. I, I didn't have anything written down. Uh, Ezekiel 25 and 12, I believe it is. All right. Ezekiel 25 and... um. Uh, man, I'm gonna I'm actually start up. Ezekiel 25, and um, man, start at 10. Ezekiel 25 and 10. It says, "Unto the men of the east, with the Ammonites, which the Ammon is the, the so-called Japanese." All right. You got the Moabites, which is the so-called Chinese, and you got the uh, the Ammonites, which is the so-called Japanese. It says, unto the men of the east with the Ammonites, and will give them in possession that the Ammonites may not be remembered among the nations. And I will execute judgments among Moab, and they shall know <laughs> that I am the Lord. See that? So the nations are going to be a possession to the Israelites, man. That's pursuing us. We can get that next. Psalms, Psalms, the uh, second chapter. Where the Lord said, what? Uh, uh, ask of me and I, and I will give thee the heathen for thine inheritance in the uttermost parts of the earth, man. So the, the, the other nations, they were created to be the possessions of, uh, of the Israelites. Right? So verse 12, it says, thus saith, here's the point. Verse 12, thus saith the Lord power because that Edom, all right? which Edom is the so-called white man, have dealt against the house of Judah, which the house of Judah represents you so-called Negroes, uh, well, really uh, the uh, southern kingdom, which is uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. That's also known as the, the house of Judah, you know, the um, Negroid tribes, so that you can understand. It says, have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenge himself upon them. So when you just look at the, the history between the uh, so-called Negroid tribes, really all the tribes, really, Judah, Benjamin, Le uh, Levi, Gad, Reuben, Issachar, all right, the uh, so-called white man uh, basically <laughs> he jacked us up, man. You know? I mean, the you just, you just do the history on it, man. We, the, the, the so-called white man, put a foot up our ass, but it was all for prophecy's sake, man. All right. It says what? 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power. I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it. And I will make it desolate from Teman and they of the dead shall fall by the sword. So the Most High is going to get vengeance on Edom now. All right. Since you touched the apple of his eye, which is the Israelites starting with the elect. All right. <laughs> now the Heavenly Father is going to touch you. But now it reads on, verse 14. It says, it, it says, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. It says, it says, uh, by the hand of my people Israel. See that? So the Heavenly Father is going to use the Israelites. Because he'll say what? Uh, that are my battle acts and weapons of war. And the Heavenly Father is a man of war, man. So part of his, you know, his weaponry or part of his arsenal is his own people, man. All right. He said, "Well, I've I've, I've made the a new a new sharp threshing instru instrument having teeth, and thou shalt what uh, uh, thresh the mountains or something to that effect." I think it says that in Jeremiah, right? It says fourteen again. It says, "And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by my by the hand of my people Israel." So the Lord gonna give us power. And it's not gonna be us. Particularly doing it, it's, it's going to be the Heavenly Father, man. It's prophecy. A spiritual entity is going to be controlling certain men to do things on the earth, man. And it's according, all right, according to Bible prophecy, all right? It says, And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury. You see, so this is all going to be according to the, 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 the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And not, and not of ourselves, because like brothers always say, we're not angry enough, you know? We're not furious enough. So you can imagine when the Lord puts his fury on the elect men, 
his anger, his fury, his fire, his spirit, that's going to be a whole nother level, man. All right? It says, uh, Slocky, it says, And they shall do it, eat them according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord power. See that? So the vengeance of the Lord is going to be known through his people, man. Why? Because like I said, you know, according to the, what the scriptures say, we're the most highest battle acts and weapons of war. All right? And the Heavenly Father, he's the ultimate man of war, man. So <laughs> once he reaches into that cabinet or he he, he uh opens that opens that door with all the weapons and stuff, you're going to, hey, it's like, it's like, it's like Israel, uh, the nation of Israel, his men, the elect is like, is like the ultimate weapon, man, that he going to use against you heathens, man. And you're not going to be saved. Now, the other, now, as far as the prophecy is concerned, Babylon the Great, which is America, is going to be totally annihilated. The only soul that's going to make it out of America is the elect. Anybody else that's left here, everybody else is going to die here in America. All right, Esau, the other nations, and two thirds of our people. Now you're gonna have other na uh, other uh, nations and, and, and Edomites and so forth throughout the other, you know, throughout the world. That's technically not gonna get hit by the missiles. All right, and the Lord gonna preserve them, but it's only for them to go in, into into um slavery. All right, and that slavery is not is not um, you know, like like how this guy uh. Elder Rakai from GOCC tried to say like we just gonna give him some jobs, you know what I'm saying? Nine to five jobs with a paycheck. We come. No, it's gonna be hardcore bondage, man. All right. So so just because you ain't get hit by the missiles, that don't mean that you know you technically got saved. No, you're, you're being preserved to be uh, thrown head first into into captivity, man. All right. Matter of fact, let's um let's get that. I'll, I'll get a couple more and I'll, I'll sign off. All right. Revelations chapter 2. And um, 20, 26. Yeah. Revelations 2 and 20, uh, 26. It says, He that overcometh. And keeping my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. See that? So it's about it's about overcoming the endurance to the end, man. All right. Doing doing what we got to do to stay in his faith, and 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 conquer any obstacles that get tossed our way. All these different tests. You got Esau about to run down. Brother just did the video on the whole terrorist act or. Whatever it is, brothers did the videos on it. So Esau, he's planning to, to, to try to run down on us, man. Putting these lies out there and try to put us in that category as this and that, which is that's not even what it is. But we got to overcome that, man. And those that overcome that, Lord said what? He's going to give them power over the nations, authority, man. You know? Over what nations? The other nations on the earth. Esau, Elam. All right? The, 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 the uh, um, the uh, nations outside of Israel, man, which is how it's, how it's supposed to be anyway. We, we can go to the Lord and, and, and prove that. All right. But it says what? Verse 27, it says, and he, meaning this, this, this individual that overcame, shall rule them with a rod of iron. And as vessels of a potter shall they, meaning the, the nations that he's ruling over, be broken to shivers. You see that? <laughs> Hang on one second here. Uh, what verse is that? Twenty-seven. Yeah, shivers. And in, you know, in my my Bible, the uh, word there for shivers it says pieces. So we gonna break you in pieces, man. So you ain't just you ain't just getting all scot free, man. Bro, the kingdom of heaven is gonna be hell for you nations, man. Especially Esau. You ain't getting off scot free, man. We gonna break your ass up. <laughs> into pieces. This, this is this is this is in the scriptures. We ain't making it up. We not a bunch of disgruntled Negroes that just, you know, you know. Nah, this is this this what the scriptures say, man. I read it again, verse twenty seven, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of potter, shall they be broken to shivers or pieces, 
even as I received of my father. See that? So that's what's coming in the kingdom of heaven, man. We're going to be breaking you nations up into, into shivers. Because why? The, the uh, lower, um, excuse me, the law of Yahweh Shem Yahshai is going to be, is going to be uh, forced. All right? Because that new, that new covenant only applies to the Israelites as far as the, 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 Israel, uh, the laws being put, put in our inward parts and us being perfect. That's only for the nation of Israel. You other nations are going to have to have the laws beat into you, man. And that's the reason why it says that. We're going to rule you with a rod of iron and break you into pieces. Now, I'm going to end off. Let's go to that, uh, what I quoted in Leviticus 25. All right. Leviticus 25 and um, I think it's 44. All right. Um, right. This is Leviticus 25 and 44. It says, both, both thy bond men, which a, a bond man or bond man is a, is, a, is, a, is a male slave, and thy bond maids, all right, which is a, which is a female slave, which thou shalt have. So people say, oh, the Bible uh justify slavery yes it does or oh, the, oh, the, the, the the bible talks about oh slavery so, yeah of course it does nothing wrong with slavery what's 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 wrong is who's in slavery <laughs> and that's our people the israelites as it says in um what's that he uh because ecclesiastes 10 where it says what i've seen service upon horses and princes walking that service upon the earth so the fact that this this whole setup is is, is what's wrong you got the peasants, you got the, the, the filthy heathens sitting on a, on a high horse. But then you got the princes of the, 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 you know, the princes of the most high, the sons of God as servants, as slaves. That's what's wrong. But when, it's, when things are turned right side up, that's, that's what it's supposed to be. All right. As we read in this verse, this is both thy, Vigas 25, 44, both thy bond men and thy bond maids, which thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen. That are around about you. See that? So the so the so the so the so the Edomites that don't get hit by the missiles, and you you so called were were uh, uh so called saved or so called preserved. You only being preserved so that you could help build so that you could build the kingdom. All right, so it, you could fulfill this. All right, to what be the the bond men and the bond maids of the Israelites, man. <clears throat> it says, uh, which thou shalt have shall be of the heathen that is round about you, of them shall ye buy bondmen and bondmaids. See that? So the uh um um right, so the so so the slaves that we're supposed to have are the heathen nations, man. Alright, and the kingdom of heaven is gonna be built. And it tells you in um what's that? Isaiah the sixtieth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. About about um you know how the sons of strangers shall build shall uh build thy walls, man. Who's that? The heathens, man. You know. And then, I mean that's that's pretty much it, man. I mean I just want to throw a couple of scriptures out there. I, I didn't even really have a title. You know. Esau, Esau Edom's not gonna make it. I don't, I don't know. I, I think it's something, man. But I was just on my spirit just put a couple of a couple of words out there because these these guys, man, they're getting exposed, man. These false prophets, which, you know, back in the, you know, back in the day, couple, you know, when the apostles first got on YouTube, they used to call them, um, uh, Bubba La Blackfish, because he got them big, them big, them big bulging eyes popping out of his head, you know, so-called, uh, Elder Rakai from the GOCC, man, this, this guy been going off for years, man, but now the Lord is, is going through and he's showing you you know, making it even more clear what what Israelite group is 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 not real is teaching lies. And who's really about this truth, man? Who's pushing the the, the, the one true doctrine of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai? That's the man here, Great Millstone, and the other brothers that's around the world in in like minded spirit, man. You know, so you know that's pretty much it, man. I was just flowing in the spirit. I just want to you know kind of pull over real quick, you know, put a lesson up, man. But um. Lord willing, you was edified, all right, giving all praises on and glory.
to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechai, Kodash. And uh, Lord willing, to the next uh, lesson, we say Shalom.